everybody. What's up? Oh my goodness. Um, I'm coming at you today because I'm drinking a Monster Energy drink. Mm. And um, I don't really have a reason for it. I just felt like it because I had an extra one. So I was like, yeah, all right. Uh, and I had just woken up and I was like, I need to get going so that I can put something on the website and, you know, do stuff, be active, you know, be proactive. In my search for something to put on the website, I discovered that, of course, wow, there's this awesome new Harry Potter Blu-ray collection coming out that Amazon just put up the pre-order link for. Um, it is called the Harry Potter Wizards Collection. I'm not even a huge Harry Potter fan. I'll make that perfectly clear. I never read any of the books. I loved some of the movies. Others, I was just like, eh, mm, you know. And particularly, Death Hall Deathly Part 1 was annoying to me because what stuck out more than anything was just how many aspects of the story were completely pilfered from uh, famous fantasy tales of the past, like uh, the story of Excalibur and uh, Merlin and, um, of course, Lord of the Rings. But I'm not even talking about that right now. Um, it doesn't even matter because I like enough of the Harry Potter movies that uh, when I see a set like this, I am blown away. Wow. I just... <sighs> I did not expect this. You know, um, uh, for those who don't know, there is more information about the Harry Potter Wizard Collection at geeky.com, where I have made a post already about it. And I will leave a link in the description to that article. Now, the uh, <clears throat> the set contains, just, just to give you a background already, the set contains 31 discs 31 discs um it also contains ultraviolet digital copies but i do not believe those are on discs i think those are on uh you know in, through code basically but yeah it contains every last one of, every single one of the movies uh the last two it has in uh 2d and 3d respectively um some of them have the extended cut and the theatrical version. In fact, I believe all of them have both the extended cut and the uh, theatrical version, but I'm not absolutely 100% sure. Um, but, you know, I, I guess the point I'm trying to make here is that it says there are 31 discs, and then it says there are 18 movie discs, which, if you do the math, it doesn't really add up. Eight movies, and then it shows that two of them are have the theatrical version of the extended cut, and two of them have the 2D and 3D versions. So that would be 8, 10, 12. 12 discs that they express here on the thing. And even if you added in all the other movies, uh, which would be four other movies, uh, for extended cuts and stuff like that, that would only be 16. So that would have to mean that there may also be a extended cut for Deathly Hallows Part 1 and 2. Um, but I don't, I don't know how they're going to do that. All I know is all I know is the information it gives me on the Amazon.com page. If you haven't taken a look at this thing yet, uh, I'm going to put a picture up here for you just to show you what it's like. This is a magnificent Blu-ray set. I have never seen, I don't, or at least I don't believe I've ever seen anything this nice. I mean... There are several different compartments. There's not any news yet on all the uh, swag that's going to be in the set. But you just know with all these different compartments, there's going to be tons of freaking swag. You know what I mean? So, you know, I was blown away. So you're thinking to yourself, 13, 31 discs of content, 18 of those are going to be movies. 13 are all special features. And this thing contains all the special features from every previous release, including another five hours of additional uh, special features content. So needless to say, this is packed. This is jam-packed full 
of freaking Harry Potter content for all of you Harry Potter fans out there. It's like, it's got everything, man. It's just got everything you could ever imagine all in one box set. The only thing it doesn't have, the books, pretty much. It's like, the only way you can make it any better is to also add in all the books in there, too. Um, but anyways, with everything included um, with the set, the retail price is an astounding $499.99. It's pretty expensive. But here's the thing, all right? Yeah, it's expensive, but they've already got a deal on Amazon right now where if you pre-order it, it's only $349.99. It's $350, basically. They took off $150 before the thing even went on sale. It's pre-order, and there's no release date yet on this. So it's like, it's brand spanking new, right? And yet, already... All frickin' ready. We have 10 customer reviews on Amazon. Don't you just love Amazon? I mean, I love the site, but what I don't love is that they let anybody post up a customer review for anything at any time. Uh, it bugs me because, like I just said... This has, the, the release date for this hasn't even been announced yet, and yet there are 10 people reviewing the content, which, as I expressed earlier, the full extent of the content on this in this set has not even, the details have not even completely been released yet. So, um, I don't know how anyone could get off making any kind of review about this, whether it be positive or negative. So I'm going to rant about that today, which is why I'm here with a monster energy drink. Proper ranting fuel, because some of these responses are just so freaking stupid. And I've, I've been wanting to do something like this for a while. Where I just look at some of the stupid reviews that things get on Amazon and talk about those reviews in a video. Because, wow, I just can't believe it. This is just stupid. Alright, so the first one that catches my eye is a one-star review from Carl D. Spoolman. Ultraviolet? No way! As long as WB insists on ultraviolet digital copies, there's no way I would buy this set. I want a digital copy I can actually watch without having to stream or sign up to another service. Um, first of all, I'm surprised there's anybody complaining about digital copy anything at all because from what I know... Nobody gives a goddamn about digital copies. I have met like one or two people in the entire world who are like, yay, digital copies. Everyone else is like, this is the most pointless and ridiculous endeavor ever. I tend to agree, as expressed in my Why Digital Copies Suck video from a while back. Um... But what gets me here um, is that he says that he wants to actually watch them without having to stream or sign up for another service. You kind of have to do all that with pretty much any digital copies. I mean, some of the early digital copies, you just put the disc in and you download it off the disc, no problem. But the later ones are so freaking jam-packed full of DRM and other stuff like that. That you have to freaking pretty much sign your goddamn life away just to download the damn thing off of the disc. And when you do, it's usually worse quality than a DVD because they spent so much time putting so much DRM on the disc that they didn't have any room left on the disc for the actual freaking movie. Which is why those discs are pointless and they suck. But apparently this guy likes that. I, I don't know. This is uh, crazy people. Next up. From Bella in Baltimore. Price! Wow, this is expensive. 
I've been waiting for this pack for a while now. I never thought it would cost over three hundred dollars. Other than that, it looks great. Never thought it would cost over three hundred dollars. I can understand that, but uh, let's let's continue with the price theme because that pops up more than once. People, price Xavier Zavala Heras. No, I'm not kidding. From Ecuador. Um, so I'm going to excuse some of the uh, the English flubs that he makes here because he actually does speak fairly good English for somebody that's not you know in an English speaking country. Anyways, he says I normally use the comments for this type of things. <sighs> what? <laughs> I think what he means to say is he normally doesn't use the comments for this type of thing. But since there are already four guys that gave somewhat cheerish reviews for this upcoming package, I'm going to expose my concern. $500 for this set? The specs so far say that this box set has 31 discs. Why so many discs? It's been proved that for a digital copy is only, necess is only necessary a code. Again, broken English. He's from Ecuador. Let it pass. Um, once you download your copy, the disc is unuseful. So there's a bunch of fat on the set. Now, here's my issue with what he's saying here. No, I don't take issue with his poor use of the English language, even though I am an English major, and it does kind of get to me. It's like, okay, he lives in Ecuador. Whatever. But what gets to me is this concept that apparently he thinks the digital copies are coming on the discs. And that that's why there's 31 discs. He thinks the reason there's so many discs is because half of them are digital copy discs. Well, I am glad to tell to inform you, Xavier, that ultraviolet, to my uh, knowledge, does not come on a disc. It is a code. No disc involved. No worries. Um, I agree. Digital copies suck. Um, if you're going to do it, you only need a code, and that's why there's ultraviolet. Anyways, I'm all for the Blu-ray versions only. I know that lots of people won't mind to get the DVD versions, but couldn't they spend the, couldn't they separate the Blu-ray from the DVDs? It seems so overkill. The only thing that include the, includes the Blu-ray and DVD version of the same movies is to increase the cost. In other words, what he's trying to say here is, like, like with the digital copy excuse he gives, um, he believes that there are DVDs in this set going along with the Blu-rays, which is not true. If you look at the specs, you'll realize that it's all Blu-ray. It is all Blu-ray, folks. 31 Blu-ray discs, all right? Uh, at least to our knowledge. The special features may come on DVDs, but I highly doubt that, given the price and everything. But, I mean, yeah, 31 Blu-ray discs, or at least 18 Blu-ray discs on Blu uh, for the movies. 18 movie Blu-ray discs. Uh, there's no mention anywhere that there are going to be any DVDs anywhere in the set. This is a Blu-ray set. I don't know where he gets this concept that there's going to be all these DVDs in there as well. Also, it published that all the extras in the previous versions will be included and that five hours of new material will, will also be incorporated. Only five hours? I definitely expected more. This might not be relevant for many of you, but to me it strikes me as odd. Um, let, let me just finish. Anyway, I know we still have to wait for the proper announcement and the real specs, but believe me, so far nothing justifies the price. I mean, even if Amazon cut the price 50%, it would still be $249.99, which is still too expensive. What do you think? What do I think? One, you're wrong about the digital copies. There are not going to be any disc digital copies in this. If you look at the specs... It says 18 movie discs and 13 special features discs, all right? It doesn't say anything about digital copies discs. 18 plus 13 is 31. 
Okay? There are no digital copy discs in this set. Okay? Um, second, DVDs. It doesn't mention any DVDs anywhere in this set. Uh, I don't know where you got the idea that there would be DVDs in this set, but there are not any DVDs in this set. Third, and this is the big one, and it goes up for all the people complaining about it being too expensive. All right, here goes. You're complaining about a 31-disc Blu-ray set that is $350, and you're saying... That's too expensive for 31 discs of content. Let's do the math, shall we? 30, $350 divided by 31. Don't worry, I already did it. Not in my head, but I did use a calculator. And yes, it is $11.29 per disc. $11.29 per disc. How much would you pay for an average Blu-ray? How much for Harry Potter fans did you pay when some of you I know bought the Blu-rays like when they first came out? How much did you pay? Was it over $10? Was it over $11.29? I'm willing to bet it was. Um, in fact, I know that some of them, the, uh, un the Ultimate Editions on Blu-ray are like 30 bucks or more. So... Um, like 30 bucks is a cheap price for those. So complaining about paying $11.29 $11 per disc, a little outrageous, just a tad outrageous. Honestly, I understand if you don't have a lot of money and you, and this is expensive for you. It's expensive for me. It is. It's very expensive, but it's not like you're not getting your money's worth. 31 discs of content for $11.29. And some of that $11.29 are for the freaking 3D Blu-rays. 3D Blu-rays for $11.29. You're going to complain about something like that. Have you lost your freaking mind? And need I remind you... I am not even counting in all the swag that's going to be included. I am not even counting in the amazing freaking deluxe box set that it comes in. No, I'm not counting any of that. I'm just saying for the discs alone, you are paying $11.29 per disc. That's too expensive? That is too expensive. Now, I understand, like I said, you're going to be paying... $350 in one lump sum for all of it. And that is pretty freaking expensive. And yeah, you're going to have to save your pennies, some of you. And it's like you, nobody wants to spend that much, plunk that much down at one time. But it's not like we're talking about a set of like three or four movies. This is eight movies with extended cuts, with both 2D and 3D Blu-ray releases. All on Blu-ray with ultraviolet digital copies and 13 discs of special features. And it's going to come with a load of swag and a freaking beautiful box set to put it in. And you're complaining about the price being $350. You don't think it's worth $350? What the hell is your freaking malfunction, man? Of course it's worth $350. Oh, I just don't get it. I mean, are they comparing it to other box sets for movies? Because it's kind of hard to do that when you're talking about a movie series that includes eight feature films. For Christ's sake. Eight feature films in a deluxe Blu-ray box set for $350. Stop complaining. The price is damn good and you need to stop bitching about it. And please, please... Stop doing it in the freaking review section of Amazon. That's not what they're, that's for. The review section is for, you know, reviews of the product from people who actually own the product. Since it's currently impossible for anyone to own the product, the 10 customer reviews are complete and utter bullshit. 
and I guarantee by tomorrow there are going to be 10 more. I mean, this is just ridiculous. I mean, there'll probably be more than 10 more by tomorrow, but I just, uh, I can't freaking stand when people do this because do they not understand that that is not what this is for? I mean, already the Wizards Collection has an average customer review of three stars because of bullshit like this. <laughs> the, movie, the damn thing hasn't even come out yet, and you're giving it a three-star review. Three-star review for this amazing freaking box set. You have got to be kidding me. What is wrong with you people? I just don't understand. I just don't understand. More comments. At first, I was very excited to see this, but now I'm disappointed. Where are the extended cuts for all of the DVDs? First of all, they're going to be Blu-rays, not DVDs. Uh, well, it doesn't tell you whether or not there are going to be extended cuts for all the Blu-rays. Uh, there are... Uh, they only mention, like, I believe, what was it? They mentioned the eight movies, and then two of them they mentioned would have the extended cuts, and two would be in 2D and 3D. So they only mentioned um, 12. 12 of the 18 discs have been mentioned. So already you're complaining, where are the extended cuts? For all you know, there could be extended cuts for each individual movie, which makes up the other six movies and other six discs in the set. So before you get all antsy pantsy about it, just calm down. Calm the freaking hell down. You need to take a step back and think about it and do the math because they have not announced all of the specs yet. Very upset. Then the price is very expensive. How do they think I can afford this? Well, you know what? It's not for everybody. It's for the it's for the diehard fans that are going to be saving up their pennies right now for this set. You know, you you pay the price for the deluxe edition. That's all I have to say about it. You're getting everything. You're getting freaking everything all in one box set. Of course, it's going to be expensive. But even then, if you do the math, it's not even that really really that expensive. Again, eleven bucks per disc is not that bad for a freaking deluxe box set. You've got to be kidding me. But no, I will have to save most of the year for it. This is crazy. People don't have this kind of money, especially with the way the economy is right now. Oh, my God. How can you complain when you know there are eight freaking movies in there, 13 discs of special features? I mean, I understand the complaint. It's too expensive. It's going to take me a while to uh, get the money up and everything. But blaming the studio for that is stupid because they're not there to make the poorest fans happy i'm sorry to say it but they're not they're there to make the fans happy with um the content that the fans want and the packaging that the fans want and it's like you know they do everything they can but what do you want them to do do you want them to split it up i mean hell i like i said per disc with all the content you're getting it's actually kind of a good deal uh i don't know i don't i feel like people aren't uh, thinking this through they're not realizing all the content that is in this you know um continuing meh honestly not all that excited the for this after seeing it we should include the extended edition of all the movies again you don't know if they do or don't with the deleted scenes added in 13 discs of special features. Shut up! I'm not going on. I'm, this is it. I'm done. But I just... How can you complain about a set like that? I don't understand. It is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. It is stunning. I have never seen a set like that in my entire life. That's just incredible to me. I don't... It's amazing to me that they would put out something that beautiful for anything 
like this. You know, it's like they put out box sets before, but I've never seen anything quite this deluxe before in my life. 31 discs and the swag that comes with it. And there are still people fucking complaining. And their complaints are mostly, in fact, I believe they were all so far just complaints entirely about freaking um, stuff that they don't know about yet. They don't know if all the uh, extended cuts are included or not. They may very well be. In fact, if you do the math, it kind of makes sense that they are. It's just that they weren't announced that way yet. Uh, and people complaining, oh, well, we don't need the DVDs. Good, because there are no DVDs in the set. We don't need the digital copy discs. Good, because there are no digital copies in the set. Oh, my God, just shut up. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about today. The stupidity of people on Amazon and the stupidity of some fans. I just rant over. All right, rant over. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Peace.